Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is something called reference layers. In Adobe Fresco, you can set your line work layer as a reference layer, and this will allow you to color on a separate layer while using the line work as the guide. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to come over here to my layer with my line work. I'm going to tap on that, and I'm going to choose set as reference. And when you're set as reference, you'll see you get this little diamond shape situation on top to mark it so. And then you can just hit plus, I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna put that layer below my reference layer. And now I can grab the paint bucket and just come in here and just start filling stuff in however I see fit. So as you can see, this allows us to have all our color coordinated with our line work, but on its own separate layer, which will give us a lot more flexibility. Okay, so I have everything colored in right here. And as I'm looking at it, I'm noticing to myself, I don't really like this yellow that I chose. What you would normally do is come in here, pick a different yellow that we want, go ahead and tap to replace it. But as you can see, we've got a lot of yellow, so that would take a little bit of time to color them all in. What you can do instead is come over to this little settings in your paint bucket and then uncheck this contiguous option. So when we uncheck that, it's gonna allow us to fill everything that is the same color. So now with one click, we've swapped out all the yellow in our illustration and saved us a whole bunch of time. While I'm here, I'm thinking this green is a little dark for the purple line work. So I'm gonna hold to select that color and then come in here, just lighten it up a little bit. And then we'll come back and fill that in. And I think that's looking a little bit better. So something I like to do to add a little bit of depth to my illustrations is to go in with a light purple set to multiply on another layer and just kind of draw over the areas to give a little separation between the shapes. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm just gonna come over here, select a light purple. I've got a new layer. I'm gonna set that layer to multiply. And then what I'll do is just come in here and just kind of draw over where I want some separation. If I was working with black line work, I could draw right over these lines and it wouldn't be a problem. But because this is a colored line work, we're seeing that purple on top of it. And I don't want that to be the case. So this is another reason why having your color in a separate layer makes things much easier because I can now put this in between my line work and my color layer. So this will allow us to draw right up into the edge of our line work without having to worry about any ugly or unwanted overlap. And because we have everything on our own separate layers, we can make our life even easier by setting the shadow layer to be a clipping mask to the color layer. That way, it'll only show up on the color below. We can quickly come over here and go right to this edge without having to worry about stopping at the edge of the image and, and having it kind of go beyond where we want it to be. So this way you can kind of quickly go through and just draw right through where you want to go and get a lot done very quickly. And then once I finish drawing all of that shadow in, I'll just tap on this layer, go into my settings, just bring down the opacity down to like 50% or so, depending on the color I've chosen. And this just makes it a little more subtle, but I think it still adds a nice pop to my color. Hope you enjoyed this Fresco Friday. I'll see you next Friday for another Fresco Friday. And I'll see you Tuesday for another other video. All right, good talk.